the funniest part about okay. this is, um, I guess maybe how Kendrick has been painted or viewed. He the only one that has at least und- three undeniable classics. Good Kid, Mad City. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Does one. Drake not? You, Kendrick oh, has two. Yeah, I don't want to do this. Kendrick has two. To Pimp a Butterfly. No. It's funny because I'm kind of Savon. Of course, you're with Savon. Savon. That's I love, not a I love, classic. Oh, I love, you said Savon. Savon. Yeah, I love, I love with Dan. I love Dan way more. Savon. I'm gonna tell you why it's a classic. Bro. You ready? Like, Are you ready? And this is when you're. Are you, you ready? Hip hop nerds. No, this. the hip hop nerds get me tight with that album. It's a good album. It's a good album. It had a great message. It's not a classic. Kendrick Lamar is the only rapper with a Pulitzer. Okay, cool. You can be sarcastic. Nah, that's what's up. I'm gonna, but that is the reason why. It's a classic. It's the only rap album no, it that's one of Pulitzer. Make it a classic. I can't give it a classic off of that. That doesn't make it a classic. Bro, y'all are because makes it, I feel like societal accolades and hip hop accolades are two different. Let me things. go to the track list, bro. Y'all bugging. It doesn't make no, it a classic. No, it's a fire album. It, it, it doesn't make bugging. it a classic. But I, if that's if that was the if that was the argument for me to be like that's a classic, I can't do it. Facts. To pimp a butterfly is considered a classic. I know y'all don't like it as much. It's not it, <sighs> King Kunta, Wesley Story. You're not I, spinning that, bro. Who's not spinning that? <laughs> the black of the berry. Yeah, these walls is on there. Hood All right. politics. No. All right is on there. That's none of those songs are in his top ten. To you, they're not Facts. in his top ten. No. To you, that's no, cool. I don't know about all that. No, I, I can't say yeah, that. I can't maybe, it. maybe King Kunta. Okay. All right, all right, all right. right. Oh, what are you talking about? All right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hold on, hold on. we're not gonna be all right. No, we gonna be all right. Yeah, but and damn. Dan was just Dan was an amazing him, album. Certainly. So I thought Dan way ahead than uh to Pimper Butterfly. This is Pimper Butterfly. Yeah. To Pimper Butterfly to me is okay. not a class. It's a great album. It's a yeah. great body of work. And I think it has a great message. It's a classic. But I think we throw around that word classic too much. And I it's also think, I also believe we don't give credit where credit is due. I think J. Cole has two classics. Which is? I think Born Sinner. But you heard what okay. I said? I said undeniable. Like that is undeniable. Well, these two guys the o- just denied it. The, so. But the only I feel no, like- the <laughs> only reason why people don't say Born Center is an undeniable classic, it's not. A, it's is not because the blogs didn't pick it up as an undeniable classic when it dropped. It's not true. That's it's, the it's o- to pick a butterfly is not picked up by the blogs. Everybody what? hated. E- everybody hated to no. pick a butterfly when it came no, out. No, the these they, are facts. Did, they did. They the did. The people did. hated it. The no, blogs the loved it. The blogs the inter- love to pimp the, the a butterfly. The internet loved that Yo, album, bro. bro. You forgetting? No, I'm not. Od, because I was one of the people that hated it, and and I'm looking at yo. Why does everybody love this shit? <laughs> everybody <laughs> loved it. The, the that media, was a lot to say, Vaughn. Bro, but... the media loved it. The people they hated, hated it. it. No. That's what determined that album as a classic. Purist, I don't know any purist, r- I, not bro, the media. The I don't know any person. It. Literally, not the media. Li- I don't know a person in yeah. my day to day. Who looks at that album and says, "Oh, this is a great album." I mean, that's, you don't know that, anyone that, that looks at that album. That's, that's not a good no, thing, bro. But, all right. <laughs> like, when I say great, I mean classic. You say it's a flex. I mean that's classic. Not a flex, I, mean, bro. I mean classic. That's I mean, not a flex. Not a. Cl- it's not a. It's not a classic. <laughs> oh, classic. Okay. It's not a classic, bro. It's not better than Kid Leave it in the comments. And it's not better than Damn. They're gonna tell you. It's not better than those two albums. I don't think that album is better than Damn. I don't think that album is better than Damn. I think. And in that argument, that means both of them are classics. Per- uh, no, not to me. By his, that's by his uh, thinking. I don't align with that. So which one is better? <laughs> out, of those, out of those three. Rank those three. Rank, rank those yep. three? From Watch what this. I like or just in general? Yep. Good Kid, Mad City, uh-huh. Damn, and To Pimp a Butterfly. All right. They're all classics to me. So what oh, does those that are mean? the three classics. I just, yeah. said, I, I just wanted you to rank them. <laughs> that's that's fine. fine. That is the third. Yeah. So if I were to argue which one isn't a classic, Based on your ranking, that's the that's would the be, one. That would be the most. I mean, d- 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 I guess I don't know. No, not you guess. You know, bro. I'm t- you just I'm said t- my three in bro, your opinion. But to, but y- your argument makes no sense because to me they're classics okay. regardless right. of the placement. Uh, right. yeah, like, mm-hmm. They're okay. all classic because, albums to me <laughs> because like it could. You just said like to you that they're classics, and I feel like there's really big arguments for why it is a classic and then why it isn't a classic. But. Regard, r- regardless of Kendrick having classic, he's phenomenal. He's top 10 yes. all time. Some people got him as top five. I think when he does what he did on Like That, it cements him as clearly top 10. To me. At, he, yes. He's easily a top I'm 10 rapper. It. I'm not mad at it. I'm and not then mad. I even see people talk about top five. Mm-hmm. 
it makes me say, you know what? I'm not mad at that. I don't know if I agree, but I'm like, I'm not mad. At of that. all time, top five. Personally, yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm not a. I, he's not in my personal. I'm top not mad five, at it. But I I mean, he's in my. Yeah, he's, he's in your. <laughs> where, where is he in your top five? Is he number one? I'm not mad. at it. <laughs> You'd probably have to be number one. Oh. That's he's number one. Wait. Yeah, you see, this is the thing with being from New York. Is that no, you, people no, no, think, no, no, no. Like a no, wild, no. You know what it is? Because when I've had this conversation, people get mad at me when I put. They're like, it's not Jay Z. Oh. Jay Z, number four. Oh, four? shit. Yeah. You wanted those. Damn. But it's just off <laughs> my <laughs> personal suggestion. No, I can't. Top, I can't. Yo, let I, can't. Me hear your top. I can't. Bro, let me hear your top three. Then. See? That invalidates your Kendrick bro, take no, now. Bro, <laughs> just for that. Bro, bro. Just for you having home yeah. at full. Should have kept it to like, yourself. You don't know hip hop. The that fuck is we talking about? Just my favorites. It doesn't mean I think if I were to make actual rappers, that's different. And I would have to go down to graphs. What's your favorite? Let me hear your Mount Rushmore. Because you said Hope is at four, so I just need three more. And you said Kendrick's at one, Kendrick. so there's only two. Just give us the last two. Drake. Okay. Biggie. Okay. So that's your four. And then Jay. What's yeah. wrong with that? That's not that bad. Who would be my five? I don't know who my five would be, actually. That's not, that's not terrible. It's that's not, not terrible. But um, everybody, because I don't know, I just see a, like a common thing. Is that yeah. If you're from New York. You, you gotta, gotta put Jay Z as well, like Jay Z or Nas number one. Well, at least you have Biggie on there, so yeah, yeah. you didn't completely deny your roots. <laughs> Brooklyn, yeah. Brooklyn won't hate me. I'm not mad at that. Yeah. I'm not mad. At that. Wait, wait. So, but I do like this combo. Yeah. And even discussing what are classics, for the fact that we're kind of split, that makes me wonder what you think are Cole's classic albums. That's what I wanted to get any. to. Because if you want to call yourself Big Three, that's what I wanted to get to. That's why I brought it the up. The Spider Man meme, everything, and that's why I'm to me, I'm like, this beef is eh. pause, whatever. Because I feel like it's a, this is a known thing. Hmm. Where does where's uh albums uh where does Cole's albums? I think the undeniable classics are Born Center and Four Souls Drive, and then also mixtapes. You can't forget Friday Night Lights and the Warm Up. But also like okay, when we talk That's about four. like Big Three, I don't want to just be yeah. like okay, does yeah, he have classic albums? No, because he really does have the least classic albums out of the Big Three. Who? But we love J. an Cole. honest fan. We love no, an honest I, fan. I think he has less classic albums than Kendrick and Drake. We love an honest fan. But it's like I mean there ha there's so much that goes into it. Like it's like oh who's the greatest basketball player of all time? Give them and all you take four? one of their stats. I'm sorry, that's that's crazy. You were gonna give him all four? three. Who? Oh, I'm giving him three. I'm giving J Cole three. What's the third one? No, she said no. One mixtape and oh. two albums. Yeah. Mixtapes count because Friday Night Lights does count as a classic. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then I can do yeah. Section Eighty with Kendrick, and then that's his four. That is true. That is true. So true. if you really want, that's right, so I got four that's now. That's his third. That's his four. You, you're putting. Well, I see why. <laughs> but I give, nah, some people put Section Eighty above. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, so okay, cool. Drake. Drake is my guy. Savon, we, me and Savon used to argue about Drake when we was in college. We did a whole project it's surrounding how they bonded. it. Real shit. <laughs> this podcast was birthed because of arguing about Drake. Shout out to Aubrey. Real shit. Real, real talk. See how much he has right? done for our society? It gave you guys need to know. Like, <laughs> Salute come on. to Drake. Feel me? And this is not a shot at him. Uh oh. It, what? It's, it's, it's take care and it's nothing was the same. Where's the law? There. <laughs> Right there. Denounce it. That's the well, you just give him two? <sighs> I'm sorry, but classic. Oh my god. Almost damn near every Drake album was classic to me. Like oh, no, I, I just do cannot that. when you think <laughs> about when you think about the time it came out and what it did for society, it one. changed the world. Oh, that's that regency bias. I'm, <laughs> I'm not even from Toronto. I know. <laughs> so, wait, so wait, do you think what's what what did I leave out? You that just is? give take care and nothing was the same? For me. Yeah. We can't count oh, yeah, I see what's gonna happen though. You say it. Well, no, say no, views. no, no, he right never the say because they hated views when it came out. No, yeah, no, did. I love views when it came who out. Who is they? <laughs> yeah, who's they? The boys, nigga. It's the boys. Who is they, nigga? I'm so tired. How, it's like, Savon, how the, was your memory, bro? Who hated views? No, 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 no. In 2016, I got, no, no, no. this one, I what definitely no. This is you guys aren't about to rewrite history. They were calling him a culture vulture. They were like, what the fuck is the this? Joe Budden rant like, with Drake was centered around views being trash. Keep saying people did hate views. Come on, people did hate views. People hated views. We don't hate it now. Uh, it, it was a, it was a album that grew on people. It gradually no, got better. It was You want to know? You know, bro. You want to uh, know how bro. I know everybody's lying when they say me. that? Because again, everybody talks about the Joe Budden rant, and yeah, he may have felt that way. But you know how I know anybody our age is lying when they say that? Because they have control. We always go to 2016. <laughs> everybody says 2016 was the year of our lives, yes. bro. They're and like, that's oh when God. views came out. Od. And everybody references that album. No, oh. no, they referenced Controller and One Dance. Thank you. And then they hated the rest of the Thank album. This is, no, Twitter, they did, they Twitter, did, they leave did. it in the comments. Instagram, YouTube, leave it in the comments. I think you're forgetting, bro. Feel no ways? 
Phil No Ways Phil was a cult. Phil no Ways. Ways. Bro, that's a you're naming cult classics that we enjoy, bro. Nothing that about dropped in 2016. You're not listening to what album. I'm saying, bro. I'm saying that we enjoy the album. Me, I was one of those people that knew off rip it was a fire album. Listen to what I'm saying. Mm. I knew off rip the album was fire. Most people hated the fucking album coming off of um what was the album he dropped before that shit? Was that nothing know. was the same? Was that this, coming off nothing was the same? This is I think that's after No, 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 no because okay, this. hold on. With Savon's 2016 crazy, argument, man. the tweet that goes viral is always like, oh my god, I missed 2016. It was controller, one dance, and work. They weren't talking about views. Still here, Grammys. Too good, fire and desire. Those aged better, but they Hotline were always Bling. referencing um, one you. dance controller and work. That was 2016. And it Hotline was one dance. It was the singles. It wasn't the whole mm-hmm. album, bro. Feel No Ways is an amazing song. We knew that. We enjoyed the music. When that album came out, they hated that shit, bro. He they talked hated, about. He's talking about it in the interviews, mad new. times. They hated it because it was new. Uh, they hated wait. it because it was uncomfortable for them. Wait, that's what we're saying. But they <laughs> love the, every time you reminisce on that year. Because it aged well. Because it aged well. Because it aged well. That's what I'm saying. Gradually, right. it became an album that people was like, people, huh? Do I never hate, hate it. it. Bro, I, literally, I told you five okay. minutes ago, I never hated the album. Do you hate it? <laughs> huh? I don't you, hate views. You hate views? That was the first album music purchase I ever made. Oh, look at that. So what? In Damn, this room, that's pretty late. I didn't... None of us hate Oh, no, views. I bought like singles before. But an album? I've never bought an album on You never bought an album since 20, not, to, not until on 2016? I, I got the albums. I didn't download them. I didn't buy them. Dang. I respect it. 